Hi friends, welcome to Spice India Online. In this video, I'll be sharing the recipe for a South Indian style fish fry using salmon fish. Fish is something that we enjoy quite often in our home, say two to three times a week in some form. And this particular version of pan fried fish is quite common and it's often prepared as a side for sambar, rasam or any type of South Indian kuruvu varieties. Along with the recipe, I will also be sharing a few tips and tricks here and there as to how to coat the masala and what will prevent the fish from sticking to the pan and also how to get a perfect brown crispy exterior. Now let's move on to the recipe. For this recipe, I'll be using a hefty salmon fillet which is already deboned and skinned. You may use any type of fish of your liking. Salmon fish goes by the name Kala in Tamil and Ravas in Hindi. It's not that very popular in Indian waters, but here in the US, salmon is quite common and pretty much find in every store. Like I said before, you can use any fish of your liking. And this salmon fillet is about an inch in thickness, so I'm cutting them into small pieces. This fish fillet here roughly weighs about 250 to 300 grams, and I'm cutting them into four equal portions. Cut them as desired and take the fish pieces in a mixing bowl. To this, add a little turmeric powder, a hot variety of red chilli powder, some coriander powder, the salt that is required for this fish fry. The next ingredient that we'll be adding here is the little gram flour or chickpea flour which not only add thickness to the masala but also acts as a binder and helps to keep the spice mix intact on the fish during the whole cooking process. This is purely optional. Adding will make a huge difference so do try it out. Next to this will be a little of ginger garlic paste. And finally, a little squeeze of lemon juice on the top which would keep the flesh more moist and juicy during the cooking process. Now sprinkle some water over it and then coat the masala evenly all over the fish. Make sure that you do not add too much water. You want the masala to be on the thicker side, not too dry, not too light, but it has to be thick so this way the masala will stay intact on the fish while frying. Once the fish is evenly coated, let the marinade sit in there for at least 15 minutes. If you wish to keep it longer, then cover it with a cling wrap and refrigerate. The next important tip is to use a cast iron pan or skillet to fry the fish. You can also use a regular iron pan or dosa pan for frying fish, which will give you the perfect crust on the top. Now preheat this pan over medium high heat before adding oil. Also make sure that you add enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. This will help to prevent the fish from sticking and also aid in the browning process. Keep the heat at medium high level and once the oil turns nice and hot, start adding the marinated fish pieces to it. Make sure not to overcrowd, allow enough space between two pieces that way it will be easier to turn. Any fish would normally take about 5 to 6 minutes to cook. So give about 3 minutes over medium high flame on each side. The key here is to keep the oil hot so that way as soon as the fish is placed on the hot oil, the gram flour in it kinds of binds the masala and firms up and then as soon as it touches the hot oil, it kind of fries it instantly. This way, the masala doesn't melt away or slide away in the oil. In about 3 minutes, the fish will be about 50% cooked. The bottom will firm up and also will brown up. This will help us to flip it easily. And now you can see it for yourself how easily I am flipping the fish in this cast iron skillet. The masala coating looks intact. It's not melting away or sliding away in the oil and also the outer crust looks perfectly browned and crisp. When one side is cooked, flip to the other side and cook again for 3 minutes over medium high flame. In another 3 minutes, the fish will be fully cooked through. 
the outer crust will look nice and crispy and golden brown and that's when you turn off the heat just to keep it more appetizing add in some fresh curry leaves to this this will give a nice flavor and also keep it very attractive when serving the curry leaves will crisp up as soon as it's added to the hot skillet now give it a gentle mix with the fish and then it's pretty much ready to be served you can serve this fish fry with any favorite meal of yours typically it's enjoyed with sambar rasam or any kind of south indian meals you can also serve this as an appetizer or a starter i hope you enjoyed watching this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you